Hey y'all, my TOPS family. Tonight I have the program at our TOPS chapter. And for those of us who aren't able to make it, um, I thought I would share what I'm gonna be sharing with TOPS on our Facebook page so that you can hear my um, program for tonight without actually having to attend. Even though I would much rather have you in person, I understand that there's personal situations that prevent you from coming to chapter and I totally get it. Cause right now with, with COVID Delta running rampant and Lambda and Gamma and all of the other variants and uh, you know, all that other stuff, I can understand completely why you may not be able to make it to chapter, but I don't want you to miss out on one of Penny's fun little programs. So tonight I'm gonna to be talking about um, the optimal human diet. So that's gonna be my program. And so I wanna start out with um, what is the optimal human diet? Okay, so I want you to think about this. You're working in a zoo and it's time to feed the animals and you get to the first encounter enclosure and it's got a jaguar in it what do you feed a jaguar it's a jungle cat it's a cat what do you feed your house cat you're gonna feed that jaguar some meat right so lo and behold you got a bucket of chicken you give the jaguar the bucket of chicken and the jaguar is a happy little cat okay so you move on to the next enclosure and it's got a koala bear in it Hmm. Well, koalas, they're from Australia, okay? And they live in the eucalyptus forest, so I guess a koala eats eucalyptus. So you've got a big pile of eucalyptus sticks and leaves, and you give the koala the eucalyptus, and the koala is a very, very happy koala, okay? And you get to the last enclosure, and the last enclosure has a bunch of penguins. It's a fake Arctic environment, and it's got little swimming ponds and it's got little cliffs and it's got a bunch of piles of ice because it's San Antonio and you want your penguins to be happy. And what do you feed your penguins? You feed them fish, right? So you get to the final enclosure and what is in that final enclosure? You. Yeah, I know, well, okay, you're the, you're the zookeeper, but there's a human being in that final enclosure. What do you feed that final enclosure? What do you feed that animal that's in that final enclosure for optimal health? Well, you know, if you look around you, you're at the zoo. So there's a guy behind you selling dipping dots. There's another guy behind you selling uh, popcorn. And there's a girl right up the way selling hamburgers and hot dogs. Hmm, is that the ultimate human diet? Probably not. But what is the optimal human diet? You know, the truth is, it's completely 100% what your body decides you want. Now, there's a ton of experts out there that tell you that the Mediterranean diet is best, or they tell you that a low carb diet is best, or they tell you that you have to eat 1200 calories to have optimal health. No, all of that, doesn't make, you know, all of that doesn't make sense for you. What makes sense for you is what you decide what works best for you. I know that sounds totally confusing because there's so much bad diet information out there that it's impossible to really figure out what is optimal and best for you. Okay. That being said, I want to talk about the power of words, okay? Because I want you to think about people in your life that have a horrible life. Every time you talk to them, oh my God, my grandson is so stupid. He is in jail again. Or you talk to this coworker and the coworker is like, oh, my car broke down or my life is horrible. Or, you know, I never went to college and I should have been, oh, and then you have this other person in your life that's just like, oh, and you know, my kid is just making me crazy or just blah, 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 you know, and every time you see them, they just drag you down because they're nothing but negative and you think to yourself you know I kind of really don't like hanging with this person because all they ever do is talk about negative stuff well that's the power of words they've decided that this is their life so does that really work for you so let's talk about dieting and words okay so Richard Simmons summed it up best 
when he said diet is die with a T on it. Okay, so when we're talking about dieting, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? I'm pretty sure it's not, oh, I'm delighted I'm going on a diet, or oh, dieting is so wonderful, it's just delicious. I don't think anybody thinks that way. I think the first thing that usually comes to mind is deprivation. Okay, so when we start talking about deprivation, we we start getting depressed, you know, and then, you know, when we're when we're dieting, we start feeling insecure, you know, because a lot of our food issues and food phobias and food problems come from of food insecurities. You know, when I was a little kid, we were poor and I didn't have any food in the house. And, and so now that I'm in this position in my life where I can eat anything I want because I can get my hands on it, you know, because deep down genetically in our genome, food insecurity is one of our biggest issues. Because, you know, if you think about it, when you're a little primordial human or this, you know, pre, 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 pre industrialized human, <clears throat> you know, you had bounty in the spring, you had bounty in the spring and fall, and you had lean in the winter. And so being insecure about food is a very, very common thing. So here you're going from deprivation to insecurity. And then from that, that just makes your emotions run amok. Oh my God, am I doing this diet correctly? I haven't lost anything. Oh, do I mean you? And then your emotions and like you're thinking about, oh, I'm just a total failure because I can't do this diet correctly. And, and how many times have you heard you say, oh, I can't have that. I'm on a diet. It. Yuck! And then that, of course, puts you into the state of emotional turmoil. And then what happens? At, what happens after you're in the state of emotional turmoil? You, you terminate your diet. And then we go back to the beginning. And you gain a little weight, or you lose a little weight, or something's not right, or you don't feel good, whatever. And you think to yourself. <gasps> I have to go on a diet again. And so it just starts that whole cycle all over again. The deprivation, the insecurity, the emotions and the turmoil. Who wants that in their life? No, 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 no. Get diet mentality out of your head. It's of no value to you. Start thinking instead of health. What does health stand for? The first three, first four letters of healthy is heal heal and that's what we want we want optimal health we want to be in a state of healthy of healing of being our optimal best self so when you start thinking about what you consume promoting your health then that really beats the daylights out of deprivation and insecurity and emotions and turmoil right so like when we're talking about health, let's talk about health. When you talk about health, when you're at your ultimate health, what do you feel? You feel happy. You know, I'm really happy. I feel really good today. How many of you woken up in the morning, you're refreshed, you're feeling good, and you're like, oh, I'm healthy. I want to just like totally, you know, rock it today. And then, you know, when you feel healthy and you feel happy, you feel energetic. And you're like, you know what? I've got a lot of energy today and I'm gonna work on some projects that I've been kind of procrastinating at and I might even walk a little bit. Hmm. You know, hey, you feel energetic. And when you feel healthy and energetic, you feel alive. You know, oh wow, this is a great day. I feel really alive. I feel active and I feel all kinds of good stuff. So, you know, being happy and energetic and feeling alive makes you feel loving towards yourself. So I love myself. How, how is it that, you know, I am so blessed with this incredible life that I am feeling happy and energetic and alive and loving because I've been blessed with this great life. And then when you have all of these great positive things going on in your life, you feel tranquility. You feel peace. You don't feel anxious. You don't feel irritated. You feel tranquility. So when you're doing things for your optimal health, that's when you start feeling tranquility. And finally, so we've, we've, we're happy, we're energetic, 
We feel alive, we feel loving, we feel tranquility. And of course, what does that lead to? Harmony. So we're in harmony with ourselves. We're in harmony with our hearts. We're in harmony with our bodies because we feel really, really good. So when you think about things, be very, very cognizant of what you think and what you say, okay? So when you're in that diet mentality of, oh, I can't lose weight. Of course you can't lose weight. You want to know why? Because think about it when you use the word lose, okay? Or lost. I lost my keys. What do you want to do when you've lost your keys? You want to find your keys, right? Or you go to the store and you park your car and you don't park in your normal spot. And you get out of the store and you're looking around and you're going, where's my car? I've lost my car. So what do you want to do? You want to find your car. So when you say, I've lost weight or I want to lose weight, what are you secretly putting up in your mind little psyche? I want to find it again. So, you know, you know so many people who've done amazing jobs of losing a ton of weight, lots of weight, and then they gain it back. And they gain it back and then some. You know why? Because they lost the weight. And when you lose weight, what do you got to do? You got to find it again, right? So I don't want to talk about losing weight. Instead, talk about releasing or removing. Removing's even better because, you know, if you think about it, you know, you've got this giant pile of, of junk that just needs to go, right? And what happens? You remove that junk and then you feel great. You know, it's like, like your trunk is full of junk, right? So you take the time, you declutter your car, you get all the junk out of your trunk and then boom, you go to the grocery store and you can just put your, your packages in the trunk. Same thing with your pantry. Remove that stuff. It's outdated. Remove it right? You don't want it back. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. So when it comes to your diet mentality, remain, remember your brain wants to do what you think your brain is, should be doing. So if you tell your brain, I have to hang on to it, then your brain's going to say, okay, we got to hang on to it. And that's how we get cluttery. And that's how we get our lives all, all clingy. Okay, and we don't want that. We don't want that. No, 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 no. So you remove it. You release it. You let it go, right? Because if you lose it, you know, or lost something, then you got to find it. But if you just let it go, you release it, remove it from your life. It is so much better. It's so much better for your psyche and for your body because then your body starts to do what your mind's telling you. And if you start saying every day when you get up, I am a healthy machine, or I'm at my optimal health, or I feel great, or I'm a healing master, or I'm a hydration machine, or I am going to be the most happiest grandma ever, or whatever you put, and you send that out to the universe, the universe sends it back to you. You know, even God in the Bible says, you know, what you send out, you get back. You know, in the Buddhist teachings, all that we are is the result of what we thought okay and these things happen and happen and happen over and over and over again you get what you ask for okay so when you start talking about oh it's a diet you know i have to be on a diet and it's just going to be deprived versus you know i'm totally healthy i'm happy i'm energetic totally different ball games so think about your words and your thoughts and how important it is for you to be successful by what you think. How important is that? So the last thing I'm going to talk about is time. Okay. Now, every single solitary person on this planet is granted the same 24 hours. Okay. So how you manage that time is totally up to you. So you can't say there's not enough time. I can't find time. I won't do it because there's no time for it, etc. BS. Mm -mm. What it is, is you can't manage time. But what you can do is you can manage your activities. So for example, I'm doing this 15, 20, you know, 20 minute video for you all. Okay. I have allotted time 
in my day to do this for you because it is important for me for you to hear this information. So I have put together my activities, thank you, so that I can manage my activities so I can do this for you, okay? So manage your activities and then your time will take care of itself. So if you sleep all day, you're choosing to sleep. And so that is not making your time utilization optimal. Okay, so anyways, so that's what I'm basically going to be talking about in tops tonight. Um, depending on time, I have a whole other section of stuff to talk about. But, you know, for the most part, the optimal human diet is what's best for you. Okay, the um, when you speak about things, choose your words positively. Try to go for good words and happy words versus bringing yourself down with negative words, okay? So think about the people that you like to hang out with. Are they happy and upbeat and loving and kind? Or are they just a suck on your on your energy? Think about that, okay? And then last but not least, manage your activities. Manage and will manage your time, okay? So anyway, so that's my little talk for y'all tonight. I'll be doing this tonight in a uh, chapter. I'll post this afterwards because there's a lot of people that are on, on Facebook that will be there tonight. And so um, I'll post this after the meeting so that everybody can see this. So anyways, so that's gonna be what I'm gonna be talking about at Tops tonight. I'm gonna be talking about the optimal human diet. I'm gonna be talking about words and the power of words. And um, finally, um, your thoughts and managing activity. So there you go. Anyways, don't forget, love y'all and we'll see you tonight. All right. Bye-bye.